Hello everybody, I am Dr. Pallavi Aga. I am a doctor and I am a lifestyle consultant and I am also dealing extensively with sports nutrition. This is the running season and I wish to add few important points which all runners have to bear in mind. Number one, you cannot out exercise or out train a bad diet. You have to understand food and clean fuel is mandatory if you want to build a long and healthy life as a runner or as an athlete. Number two, protein is a must in every, every diet, whichever a runner or an athlete takes. Protein is essential and has to be at least one gram per kilogram, if not more, depending on the level of your running or on the level of your workouts. Number three, good quality fats are mandatory, which are saturated fats, virgin coconut oil, and monounsaturated fatty acids like olive oil. Number four, you have to remember to add your carbohydrates as necessary according to your workout. If you are having a small workout, you need, need not add too much of carbs. If you are looking into a long workout or a long endurance run or speed intervals or a tempo run, then you have to add the requisite amount of carbohydrates according to the workout done. You do not need to keep all the time hogging or eating up or eating carbohydrates that's really not necessary number five remember to hydrate 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 with hydration i don't mean only water i mean sodium potassium and magnesium magnesium is extremely important take magnesium supplements so as to prevent your leg cramps your muscle cramps so electrolytes with water is of prime importance and last but not the least, remember to recover well. Do not run at an anaerobic insane pace every day. Remember, you have to run slow to run fast. Most of your running should be done at a slow aerobic zone pace. That is 80% of your runs have to be done slow, easy pace, con conversational pace. You should not be breathless, you should not be panting, you should be very comfortable. Only about 10 to 20 percent of your runs need to be done at a hard pace and a hard workout has to be followed by an easy comfortable workout. You have to give yourself rest and recovery days. Rest days do not necessarily mean that you just have to do nothing that day. Rest days mean that you can work on your strength, you can work on stretching, you can work on Pilates, you can work on yoga or you can even swim, cycle or walk. So these are called the active recovery days. If you, everybody out there follows these guidelines, they will build themselves up to be a strong individual, a strong athlete and the best thing is to do is injury free running. Do not look at the pace, do not look at what others are doing, only listen to your body. Learn to run injury free, learn to do your work workouts injury free because ultimately it is how healthy we are and how strong we are which matters at the end. Feel free to ask me any doubts, any queries. I am available on email, on my Instagram, on Facebook. Any queries related to running to sports nutrition, I would be very happy to help you. Thank you very much. I hope you have an injury-free, healthy weekend all the rest of the days of your life ahead. Build a positive stereotype for not only yourself, but build a strong family and build a strong nation. Thank you very much. Please do like, subscribe and share this video.